Hey everybody, it's Natalie Powers and it's final project. Um, here are my three group members. Brian, Joey, and Joe. Okay. Are you guys getting the best out of your movie experience? With today's new and emerging technologies, green screen has taken over our movie screens and is rapidly taking over the TV screens too. Um, it might be easier and quicker, but there are lots of problems that are arising from it. I with actors and set design. Um, it, can there be a middle ground between all of this? Every piece is needed for a great film. And with movie, with um, green screen coming along, it's kind of taking over to where whole scenes are just done in green screen, which might be okay for the better, but it isn't because we aren't having our lighting, we aren't having our set design, it's all just done on a computer and it's not the same the green screen is taking away too many of these pieces. <clears throat> One of these big pieces is acting, which has actually become pretty prevalent to where an actor will just act with a green screen. And it is not a good decision because for centuries, acting has been done face to face between people with theater and opera. And it seems like green screen has gone too far because now these actors don't have anyone to bounce off of and it's it's very hard for anyone to act and if you're acting on your own by yourself it's even harder that's when um with the Lord of the Rings trilogy um Gandalf Ian the actor he actually had a breakdown on set because of this and that's just one of them um there's also the problem of people are just doing it to save money and making everything done through post and it's not working out um, you're not getting the same quality of the th almost 3d feeling green screen can be helped but you need real objects in your in your image um, have a foreground have that foreground with real objects and it will make your it will make your green screen look 3d and it'll look awesome um, that's where we have a lot of problems. I was even watching Doctor Who in the back screen, uh, j besides Doctor Who and another actor, it looked didn't even look real because everything was done on green screen and it did not look right. Is there a happy medium? Well, I'm actually really happy to tell you that um, one movie that's came out that is a great, great example of a great medium is um, Box Trolls. The art design on it was superb. It was great. Everything was hand done, claymation, and they did use some green screen. And it was only to enhance the actual story, not to take over pertinent scenes that couldn't really be done. Um, and all the effects were actually done on set. There might have been a little bit, maybe smoke added in CG, but most of the CG was um, CG green screen was to um, make the set that was already there look bigger and look more pronounced. And it was a very, very good thing done. And that's all it is. Just don't overdo your green screen. And that is the happy medium. Um, thank you guys for being here and watching. And yeah, thank you guys too. Okay, have a great day.